top dollar Living like a rough rider Be like him up for violence He came back like a survivor He ain't out of love. We recording? Out- yes. Oh, dog. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even he know He came back on. like a survivor. Oh, it's playoff time, baby. Y'all boys excited? Yeah. Y'all boys excited? Yo, Golden State number one seed again. You know what I mean? You already predicted that. Sweet. Sweet? Yes. What you think? What you think? Let's go on this one. <clears throat> I feel like we already talked about this, but y'all want to talk about it again and get Told the, your fortune. I could tell you your fortune. <laughs> Welcome to a special edition of the Pack Life Podcast. I'm your host, Bruiser Carter, along with the original gang. No gang. Y'all, y'all what the energy at? Gang. Gang, gang. I got Lil B to my left. Gum, bro. That's interview 101. You don't chew gum. And interview 102, I can't say, but I already said it. So you got to beep it out twice. And cut Carter to my right. Cut through. How are you guys doing before we make this call? Who are you great. calling? Uh, we're calling a friend of the show who was here last week, uh, Damon. Oh, God. Owner of the Distribute Podcast. Why, bro? Why Episode one released Monday uh, this, of this week. A pack brand entity, gang gang. And I'm the CEO. Ooh, it feels good to say I'm the CEO of something. <laughs> Let's call him. Yeah, I'm the CEO. Like. It's a real corporation. It's a real cool, limited liability corporation. Can you turn the headphones down a little bit? Yes, sir. This man, come on, breathing hard. Hello? Jesus. Yes, sir. Uh, can you hear us? I can, I can. Hello? I can hear you. Um, who is this? Is this Demond Geis, this owner is, of the Distribute Podcast? Airs every Monday. This is I can confirm. This is Demond Geis of the Distribute Podcast. New <laughs> episodes every Monday. My God, how are you doing? I'm good. How's the family? How's the family? We're living lack of energy today on because our tenth episode, but I feel like we'll have it back tomorrow. I mean, it's not even a real I episode. Do. I agree. <laughs> We wanted to collab today on the on the NBA playoffs. We touched on it last week, but these are the official set playoffs. So I think we should just get into it. Yeah, let's do that. Absolutely. Where should we start? Out west or out east? I mean, bro, let's start. Can out he? East. Can he? Let him say it. <laughs> can he hear me? Can you, Can you hear? Yeah. Guy? Jeez. Yeah. Tell him stop hating. Yeah, professionals you. killing me, man. <laughs> I think, I think he's messing up the flow. <laughs> yeah, I'm messing up my flow. Man, let's just start with the um, big hoorah y'all had last week. Number four, Boston versus the Indiana Pacers. Game. You could go first. To what, the what do you think? chagrin of my cousin Cut, I am going to be going ahead and taking Boston in four. Um, <laughs> four. Wait, 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 in four? In four. Ooh, that's BD right there. Why do you, why are you saying four? B- <laughs> I understand, you know, um, Pace is a very well coached, very disciplined Tyreek Evans, and they've got, you know, the vets with Tyreek Evans and Miles Turner being, you know, considered for defensive player of the year. But I just believe in the talent of Boston. Um, we know what Kyrie's going to bring to the table. You know, you're getting experience and effort every night from Al Horford. Um, Are you? But then when I look at Boston, you look at the wild card factor. I just think the most valuable player in the series will be Tatum. And you also have Rozier and Jalen Brown who can go for 20 on any given night. Um, now, I did have Boston in four before we got the full extent of the Marcus Smart injury. Um, so four may be a bit of a stretch. Um, but that's what I went with. That's what I'm going to ride with. <laughs> what do you, what you think, B, in that series, Celtics or Pacers? Uh, I got Celtics in six. I mean, like you said, well, to me, like I said, this season for Kyrie is championship or, or bust. Or bust. Like Kyrie has to win, and I feel like this is the year Kyrie has to prove himself that he can be the guy. You know, just better than LeBron. Whatever he's trying to prove. 
the reason he went to Boston. So, and you think Kyrie's gonna be the star of that series? Yes, Kyrie's gonna be the star of every series. It's him and Tatum. I feel like him and Tatum is just gonna be cooking, and then I feel like Gordon Hayward is gonna start engaging more since it's playoff time. So I feel like Gordon Hayward is gonna come out of the shell. Uh, and he ain't two for thirty million dollars. Uh, what do you think? You were all Pacers last week cut. You are you still Pacers? Saw the Pacers play Wednesday against the Hawks with a beautiful woman. Um, <laughs> I saw the Pacers play Wednesday with a beautiful woman, and uh, they showed me some. I mean, I know it was the Hawks, but TJ Leaf had like thirty. Tyreek Evans had thirty. My Miles Turner didn't even didn't play. Play, but the, but the game was close, wasn't it? Like one thirty a piece without your best player and Collison didn't play. They only Corey Joseph, uh, Doug McDermott was scoring. Like people oh, sleep. That is Young didn't even play. I think I really got the paces in seven. But y'all, I mean, y'all can feel how y'all feel. Who, who you think the star of that series will be? The star of the series? Yeah. I feel like it's gonna be a team effort. Tyreek Evans, a former rookie of the Tyreek Evans, a former rookie of the year. People just forget about that. Like he balled, and then he fell off. He went to New Orleans. He was out. He was a. Uh, he went to the Grizzlies, and they, you know, the Grizzlies kind of. You play for the Grizzlies, bro. Your career might be over. But he ended up going to the Pacers, and it worked out for him. So that's how I feel about the Pacers. And I think the Celtics. It's not that like they suck or nothing. I just think they overrated, and I think they don't play well together. I think Kyrie need to go find a different team to ball out on, and he'll come back to his status that he was on. And I feel like. That whole, I feel like Boston not gonna look the same next year. Like, either they getting Anthony Davis or they getting, or they just not gonna have any superstar. They're gonna just have a team where Tatum gonna have to become a superstar. And I think he could rise up to that occasion. It's just, it's not t- Kyrie and him aren't meant to be together. Like Kyrie and Brown coexist, coexisted well, if that's a word, or coexist well. But I don't mm-hmm. think Tatum can uh, make that work with Kyrie. And I think it's time for them to let Tyreek Kyrie go. You need to pay Rozier, and they're going to just start that new era. A new era of Boston Celtic basketball. Plus, they got the Grizzlies pick, or the Clippers pick in the draft, so they can add some more young talent and just go that way. Problem with the Celtics is the last time they won a championship, it was a team where they had the player they drafted and they built around them. Now they're trying to just pick up superstars, and that's not how it worked now. Which is why, like the Warriors, success, the Warriors formula and stuff, like I can get, I can get real deep into it. But that's the formula that works. You really gotta build your own team up. You can't just buy a team no more. And I like that. Like the wait, Thunder. What you say? Wait, what? I feel like you can't buy a team. Like you okay, can't just okay, buy okay. players to have a team no more. And I like that. It just sucks that when it do come out time to buy, nine times out of ten people can go to the same teams anyway. And the team, Boston ain't that team no more. The teams people going to go to, really, it's really one team for stars, like the Warriors, apparently. <laughs> like the Lakers, look at the Lakers team. They built in the draft and built off trades, and then they acquired LeBron. That's how you get a star. That's what I'm saying. But the Celtics really didn't really build in the draft. They just got Tatum, and they tried to add a bunch of that, uh, superstars to them. But that ain't it. I think they got to just keep building the team. Then eventually a star will come. Like, for instance, say a star wants to come play in Atlanta right now for next season. And they won't, but go on. I know, but they had a core to do that. Really, Melo Mello probably should have stayed in Atlanta. He would have been playing still. <laughs> they paying him anyway. For me, I like Boston in uh, six or seven. I, I tweeted this, tweeted earlier that a uh, team with more star, more playoff experience will win. I just trust Kyrie, Jalen Brown, Tatum in a situation, Mr. Consistent Al Horford, and I want to say better coach, but Nate McMillan can't can't coach his uh, tail off, but I think Brad Stevens is just seasoned come playoff time. You know, right plays to run, right um, players put in the rotation. So I think this will be – this is the best um, opponent the Boston could hope for, especially in their situation because at one point in the season – the Sixers were the uh, fourth seed, and Boston was the fifth seed, and they didn't want to see the Sixers in the first round, even though they had their number in previous uh, uh, outings. But I think Boston will win this handily, go to six or seven, because Pacers are a good team at home and make their way, advance to the second round, semifinals of the Eastern Conference playoffs. Okay. 
Okay. Uh, okay. I can I can live with that as long as you have Boston coming out on top. <laughs> the next game, uh, next uh, game, uh, Milwaukee versus Detroit. Is there a, is there is there a deep dive necessary for this uh, series? Or mm, no. I, don't, I don't believe that's so. a that's sweet. <laughs> sweet, sweet, yeah. sweet. That, okay. I feel I, I know I might have said people are not getting sweet like that, but this is this is suck. And another another series, uh, Toronto Raptors versus Orlando Magic. Does this need a deep dive, or you guys? Um, I mean, Toronto I feel the only thing to argue is the games that that'll take the win. But I really. The, I think I don't think the Magic have what it takes to to mess with the Raptors on the. Great I feel game. like the Magic could get yeah. one, at least one, at least one yeah, game. Yeah, get one. Yeah. Y'all think the I Magic could get got... one, but the Pacers can't get one? No, I said. I, I said. Come on, I, said I, I think Orlando can possibly still game three. Um, it's just what? that when you look at the Pacers, what we talked about with Boston was being seasoned and being there before. Orlando has a lot of vets, maybe not on that team. But it's been in that level before. Um, Vucevic, Vucevic is an all star, so I just think they'll get one. I got them taking games three, and then after that, I think the Raptors will shut it out and take the series. Okay, so everybody got Toronto. Yeah. Okay. And lastly, first round of the Eastern Conference playoffs Philadelphia 76ers versus the Brooklyn Nets. D Lo versus Ben Simmons. What do you guys think? Well, what do you think, Damar? I got. I got the Sixers in six. Um, if I can't remember correctly, I believe that you told us we were giving the Nets too much credit. Uh, facts. Um, but I think when you look at Philly, regardless if Embiid is out, they just have too much talent. Um, I spoke on Tobias Harris. Um, Jimmy Butler can be that guy if they need him to be. You know, J.J. Reddy could go for 30 any given night. So, um, But I do believe the most valuable player will be Ben Simmons. Um, just seeing regardless if Embiid plays, he needs to be able to do things, facilitate to the level that he can and be able to take over the game, play with that confidence. Because if he comes out right, I think the rest of the team will. It will also play a factor in Philly um, as they have the Nets coming there for the first two games. So if they get upset in one of those two games, I believe that we will have a series. But if not, if he can control the floor, then I believe Boston uh, – Excuse me, Philly can get out of this thing in six. What you what you think? What you think? You know I'm rocking with Philly to win it all. So not so, win it all, but make it to the finals. Philly and what? In the series. Philly and uh six out of respect for D Lo. <laughs> or yep. no five. 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 Oh yeah, I, excuse me, Philly and five. Five. Yeah, even five. if even if it be let's yeah, say misses the first two games, you think Philly will if win. If he missed the first two. two games, six. Okay. If he don't miss them first two games. For every game he misses, it's a loss, in my opinion. Because they can't do it without him. But Boban plays solid, but I mean, I don't know. Cool, you know I love me some Boban. <laughs> I just think. And they got, and they got Greg Monroe. Greg looked good against the Heat off the bench. Greg did look good. Greg yeah. did look good. Yeah, Greg, um, I just yeah. think with with Philly, Ben Simmons, he's been there last year. He. I think he kind of plays with that, knowing that Boston, they could have got past Boston. Yeah. Um, so I think he'll come motivated, especially if Embiid is out. Hey, this is my team. Let's go. Let's go do this without him. Let him heal up, and then we'll have uh, the Raptors in the second round. Yeah, not mm-hmm. to mention Jimmy but- uh, Butler, another star, who's a uh, he's about to enter free agency in the summer. But yeah, I think that the Philly has the most talented starting five. In the East, and I think more talent will win this series, and I think Philly will win in six, um, seven, depending on uh, Embiid's injury. Absolutely. And next round for the East semifinals with our picks: uh, Raptors and Philly. What you th- what you got, B? What you got? Raptors and Philly. Yeah. Yeah, I got Philly. Philly and seven. That game, that series, you on the seven. Yeah, that's them two. It's a tough matchup. So, them two going head to head. They're going to bump heads. So, yeah, that's going down to the wire in game seven. So, yeah. What you think, Demar? Uh, For me, that's kind of hard. Um, You already know I'd love to see Ben Simmons and Kyle Lowry go at it every time because <laughs> of that one stuff they had. But I'm going to go ahead and have to take uh, Philly in seven. I just believe um, – Hawaii's not going to be enough. I know Mark Gasol plays big time, but 
outside of those two, you know, you have Ben Simmons and Embiid to match up. Then what else can the Raptors give you? Siakam, yes, but then I believe in Boston, I mean, uh, Philly, excuse me, they have Butler and Tobias. So it's just this constant play and J.J. Redding where they can get scoring, um, and it's going to be too much. For me, I agree. This series will go to seven, back and forth. Uh, I'll, I'm going to pick Philly, but I wouldn't be surprised if Toronto advances, seeing that if this goes to seven, Toronto will have home court advantage, and them people in Toronto, they support that uh, their team, that whole country behind, behind their uh, back. And I think this will be Kawhi's moment to be like, yeah, I'm here. I'm still top five. Put me in there. Best defensive player, top five superstar. Don't forget about me. But I do like Philly to win the series. I, again, the most talented starting five in the East. And Embiid is a monster. And he's one of the most unguardable players in the uh, NBA. Top five for sure. So I think Philly will win. What you think, Cut? Can y'all stop letting me talk last? We'll let you talk first uh, First the first time. I'm messing with you. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I just got the same thing to say as y'all. Philly in seven. Right. You going you gonna to pick it back off what I said? I don't have to pick it back. <laughs> they got more stars. They got more talent. Uh, and next semifinals, a series Milwaukee versus Boston for um, me, B, and Demai. And you have Milwaukee versus Indiana. So you can go first with your Indiana pick. Milwaukee going to win regardless of who they play. It don't matter who they play. They I, I, play. I think Demai. I got Milwaukee Brandon beating Indiana. Disagrees. I got Milwaukee beating Indiana in five or six. And I have Milwaukee beating Boston. If they play them in five or six, it's not going to matter. Demai, what do you think? I disrespectfully disagree <laughs> as Derek has continued to disrespect Boston. For <laughs> real, bro. This man is tripping. Okay. Y'all must not be watching the same games I be watching, but it's cool. <laughs> this man tweeted. I have Boston in seven. Yeah. Oh, no. yeah. yeah, I have okay. Boston in seven. You think, the MVP, you think the MVP or MVP runner about to lose to Boston? Yes. Who can't even, who can't even coexist, right? Who don't have Marcus Smart? So who going to guard Eric Blesso? It's playoff Who going to guard Eric Blesso? I wait. Who going to guard Eric Blesso? I wait. Is on the buck. Is that what I heard? Who gonna guard Eric Bledsoe? I wait. I said uh, MVP or MVP runner Eric up. Eric Bledsoe. What do you mean? Okay. What you mean? What I mean? Well, <laughs> what you mean? Eric Bledsoe has been hot. What are you talking about? And Malcolm well, Brogdon gonna be back. We do know who talk? has Malcolm Brogdon. He got a little minute. in the playoffs. Brogdon got a little minute. Say that one more time, We do know who has Bledsoe's number in the playoffs. I believe that's how Scary Terry got the nickname. Thank okay. you. I'm not worried about <laughs> yeah. I'm not, I'm Drew Bledsoe. About what? Eric Blesso. I'm saying he wore the oh, jersey. Yeah, Blesso, yeah. Oh, yeah. wore the jersey. Man, I'm not worried about that. What you think, Demond? You said seven. Tell us why. He's not even starting, so Kyrie going to be on him. I just, and, I just. Oh, he might it, start in place of uh, Marcus Smart being out. I just believe it's not their time. Um, While I do believe they have the pieces, I don't think they'll be able to hit yeah. the shots. Like They're, they're not ready for the moment. The Chris They're Middleton not, not going to hit no shots? Like, Chris Middleton didn't even play last but, year, did he? Yes, he did. He did. You know, he, he, did he, he hit that buzzer beater in game one. Yeah, I remember he did that buzzer beater. Oh, game. yeah. I got I got the bucks. I don't I don't care. But we know who didn't play. Kyrie. That nasty Uncle Drew did not play. So I just. I just believe it's, it's, they're not ready for the moment. Boston, we've seen Kyrie hit these big shots before. I just think for Boston, they're going to be able to stay in games. I mean, we're not even talking about uh, Marcus Morris. Yeah. You know, and that's a guy who can get you 20. They're 7-0, and I believe, when Gordon gets them 20. You know, he's going to be on his A game. So there's just too much that they have to, that can gel together. And when, when they get to the end of games, we know number 11 is going to come through. And you agree that Boston will beat Milwaukee? Yeah, of course. Boston over Milwaukee in seven. It's Boston in seven. It's just, I mean, I, I like him. I like Coach Bud, but uh, it's just like Giannis just can't be the only guy that gets you in there. Like in the championship game, like just trying to win for you, period. Like he's going to be gassed. They're going to know his weaknesses. Like his playoff time, like they have. A lot of times, it's just scout like the other team. So I'm pretty sure they're gonna get Giannis' weaknesses. Uh, he's still working on his shot. Uh, I'll force him to shoot, but um, yeah, like Boston is deep, so Boston is gonna win. And to the Eastern Conference Finals, we have Philly 
All right, so, yeah, Philly versus Boston or Philly versus Milwaukee. Cut already already said that. Who you said was gonna win that series if Milwaukee faces um Philly? Eastern Conference Finals. Eastern Conference Finals. I'm going Philly. And what? Philly in seven. That's the best matchup there. Philly versus the Bucks would be great for TV. And if it's Philly versus Boston, as they're saying, <laughs> <laughs> um, it's the same result. <laughs> it might be. No matter of fact, Philly play Boston. I got Philly in six. Mm. Last year, Philly wasn't ready. I give it to them. Last year, Philly wasn't ready. Philly ready this year. Hmm. What you think, B? What you think? Philly and Boston. Um, that's I, a tough one. But but I'm going to go with Philly, though. I mean, I got to respect that because. They ready now. That process is. I do, that process is, I do is like that starting five with Tobias, like. I just feel like they came together. Like, the team is set. Like, this is what they wanted. The process, Jimmy, Tobias, you have the pieces to win a, to win a championship. So, they should be able to get to the NBA Finals and play whoever. Or well, Golden State, to be honest. You know. <laughs> what you think, DeMar? They, uh, B turned his back on you. He said Philly. I know he wasn't going to ride all the way through, but I got Boston. <laughs> Marcus Smart will be back. Um, Kyrie will be hot. I believe Jason Tatum will have his mojo, all the role players. And I just don't think Philly is deep enough. Um, I mean, yeah, I don't think Philly is deep enough. Uh, I'm talking about the second unit. I just believe Boston's second unit and the coaching. We've seen Brad Stevens be able to take away Ben Simmons before. So um, I just believe Boston is seven. Um, But if it comes to Philly and Milwaukee – then I would be taking Philly in seven. Mm. For me, I like Philly all the way through. This league is now about image right now. It's all about stars and firepower. And the best team that could compete with Golden State, and for me, that's been Philly ever since they made the they made the Jimmy trade and made the Tobias trade. It's just about talent and how they how they how the talent performs on the floor. And I think. Come playoff time, Philly will knock down Toronto, knock down Milwaukee or Boston, and may make their way to the 2019 NBA Finals. Hmm. <clears throat> now into the Western Conference. Let's get the easy one out of the way. Golden State Warriors Sweet. versus the Los Angeles Clippers. Sweet. Sweep. Yep. Sweep. Sweep. Yeah. Even without Curry, even his uh, injuries, it's not even major. Even if it was uh Major, this will be an easy series for Golden State. I like to see how uh, Patrick Beverly and Curry play. That's always I think Patrick Beverly gonna be doing the most. Uh, he, <laughs> gonna hurt, he gonna hurt six somebody. Man of, six man of the year, Lou Williams. <sighs> I yes, mean, I respect him. <laughs> Love him to death. I think he's one of the best hoopers ever. But out of the hood and not a uh, you know from Gwinnett and all that. But it don't matter. To the next round, next series: Houston Rockets versus the Utah Jazz. Four versus fifth seed. Houston in seven. No, Houston in six. Tell us why. Bro, I, I posted in the group message earlier, bro. Chris Paul greater than sign Ricky Rubio or Dante Exum or Grace Allen. I don't care who they put out there, really. <laughs> James Harden greater than sign Donovan Mitchell. Donovan Mitchell is a great player, but he ain't, he ain't there yet. And he, greater matter of fact, he not. I'm not gonna say he's not there yet. He just his team ain't even there for him yet. Like he can't even. He don't have much to rely on outside of him for scoring, to okay. be honest, in my opinion. Um, Joe Ingles? Okay. And, um, Joe, yeah, Joe Ingles and Eric Gordon. Joe Ingles. Eric Gordon doesn't start. So. Yes, he do now. No, he's a six man. So who start? Because James didn't start? Because I know it's P.J. Tucker and Clint Capella. I got P.J. Tucker and uh, Derek Favors being equal. And, and I got, it does start. Say it again? E.G. start. And it does start. Oh, James didn't start now? Yeah. Okay, well, Ingles greater than sign Ennis. So they won one. <laughs> and they might win Gobert. Yeah, they win Gobert and Ennis. That's it. And Gobert only better on – Gobert better than Capella at, off, at defense, not better than him at offense. I think they're the same type of player. Not on offense. I mean, they do the same thing, but Gobert really don't be scoring no points. <laughs> and, I mean, the bench, then it come to the bench, uh, Cephalosha, Grayson Allen, all of them. Daniel House looks great. Eric Gordon, six man from last year, so 
Yeah, bro, I got the Rockets, bro. Rockets got a better team. Rockets like to play. Rockets like to play offense and score a lot of points, and the Jazz like to play defense. But if the Rockets have a bad night on offense, they can also play defense. I don't think the Jazz can play that good of offense outside of Donovan Mitchell. And another note, the Rockets beat the Jazz last year in the semifinals in the Western Conference playoffs. Mm -hmm. DeMond, what do you think about the series? I have Houston again in five. Um, Excuse me. They beat them in five last year. I believe Houston knows that they won't have to rely on Chris Paul that much. So um, I think we won't be seeing a drop off of the isolation basketball we've seen out of Harden this year um, unless it calls for it. Like Derek said, Houston can get buckets and they can play defense. The Jazz can play defense, but can't can't hoop like that with them. Let's just be honest. So um, at a certain point, I do believe the Jazz will take game four after the Rockets go 3-0 and then the, the series will end in Houston. And Harden will be my MVP of the series. But I will be looking at the matchup between Gobert and uh, Gobert and Capella as well as Chris Paul and Donovan Mitchell. Gotcha. What you think, B? Houston or Utah? Yeah, I'm going to take Houston and sit. I feel like Utah can get two games. It will make it tough on them a little bit. Um, but, yeah, overall, yeah, I see James Harden going off. Chris Paul getting his a little bit, you know. Them just playing the way they've been playing all year. Three pointers, they're gonna be falling. I know this series, but yeah, Houston this series. For me, Houston in five. I agree with a Demond. Too much star power. James Harden wants it. He need the Rockets' goal is to beat Golden State, and to the only way to achieve that goal is to face Golden State. So I think Rockets will handle this series handily, but drop one game in Utah and Rockets win 4-1. Next series, Denver Nuggets versus San Antonio Spurs. I heard you uh, cut. You said Spurs might upset the uh, Denver? Spurs in seven. Tell us why. The Rose and the Nodrich and Popovich. Last year, the Spurs didn't even have a superstar and they made the playoffs, right? Yes. So I'm saying, now they have a, well, not a superstar, but now they have a star. Uh-uh, mm, arguably a superstar, all-star, nonetheless. Yeah. And they got the Rose and they got Aldridge, and they have them role, bro. The Spurs come up with people I ain't never heard of. <laughs> Derek White. <laughs> and uh, Brian Forbes. Them boys be shooting, bro. And uh, they got David Bertrands. Like, the Spurs. Rudy Gay. Yeah, Rudy Gay. But the Spurs play great basketball every, you know, every year. So, And the Nuggets, I just feel like they're not ready yet. Like, people thought they was going to be ready this year because of how they was going crazy. But outside of Jokic, I think everybody else could kind of be toned down. I think everybody else could be toned down. <laughs> what you what you think, uh, B? I know you a big Jokic fan. You like the Nuggets? What you think about this series? What you not realizing is the Nuggets are deep. Like, how they not ready for how, Spurs? How deep are they? It's not 2K. What it don't you matter. Mean? In the playoffs, your bench, your bench don't even uh, – your yeah, bench yeah, barely usually cut the rotation. Cut the rotation. I mean, they have some. Paul Millsap is a veteran. He he knows what he's Paul doing. Paul Millsap is not a winner. He been in the playoffs. He's not a winner he been in the playoffs. In the yes, he was with Atlanta. They went and to the conference. Every time? I mean, the conference okay. championship. I mean, they okay. lost. I mean, to LeBron, you know how that went in the East. I yeah. mean, you so think yeah. they would have if they had to play the Raptors? They would have beat the Rosen. Yep. The Hawks would have. Yep. All right. <laughs> um. But yeah, they got Paul Millsap. Jokic, I don't see nobody on the Spurs really you want to handling him. Like okay. Gary Harris and Jamal Murray have more status than the the uh, well no, point guard, point guard. Who is it? First of all, it's White and uh, Jokic, Murray. Jokic is a point guard. Like Murray over White, okay. And then you go to the shooting guard position where DeRozan's better than Gary Harris, and it's not close at all. Then you have Rudy Gay with who they three is. Gary Harris can shoot Rudy better than DeRozan. I think Rudy Gay starts. No, Rudy Gay comes off the bench. It's Derek White, Brian Forbes, DeRozan plays the three, Aldridge, and Jacob, Jacob Poto. Yeah. Jacob Poto. You can say what you want. I don't see them being the Nuggets okay. at all. So you got Nuggets and what? Five. <laughs> Ooh. Hand, handily. Hand, uh, Spurs yeah. handles them handily. Ah. Well, what do you think, DeMond? <clears throat> I think for the Nuggets, they got the best possible matchup. I don't even – know how I feel if they would have played the Clippers the but I think with the, Spurs, with the Spurs they just 
they have the advantage. I mean, you look at Jokic, I'll take him over at Aldridge. I think they'll cancel each other out. And then with DeMar, I just can't believe, man. I really honestly think DeMar DeRozan should be banned from wearing Kobe's when the playoffs start. It really, <laughs> it gets really frustrating watching yeah, him like, play during you know the regular how many, season. You know how many clutch shots Kobe missed in the playoffs? Well, no, we're not turning this into a Kobe we're not debate. Starting huh? this right now. <laughs> we're not turning this into a Kobe debate. And you're being disrespectful to DeMar DeRozan. He was a baller in the East until he faced LeBron. We all know that. And LeBron well, was out of the playoffs. With DeMar, I, I just can't pick his team when I've seen him get benched in the fourth quarter of the Eastern Conference Finals. I just can't. So I'm going to be taking the Nuggets in five. Um, I think the Spurs will get them in Denver in game game two. But after that, I just believe it's too much athleticism on Denver's part, too much, you know, yep. wanting this. After Coach Bud, I do have um, Mike Malone. Mike Malone winning Coach of the Year. And, I, you know, Denver has been at that eight spot fighting. So this year they broke through for the second seed. I just believe they're not going to be done in the first round. They have a little bit more. Yeah. Okay. For me, I do have the Nuggets winning, but – uh, not five. I, Pop, Pop ain't letting the Spurs go out in, in one game. I think Nuggets in seven. I think the Spurs team, well coached, playoff experience will help them lead the way. And we saw Reese, um, last time the Nuggets played the Spurs, Pop got ejected. The, what the first minute and so into the game, he wasn't even taking. A, in my opinion, he wasn't taking the game seriously. So I think Pop knows something about this Nuggets team. He thinks he could coach. I'll coach uh, Mike Malone. But I think Nuggets with more, like what Lil B said, more depth and more, uh, more like the Nuggets don't have stars, but they have great players, good players that know their role. And IT, could, yeah, that Paul could successfully, Mills successfully do their role. So I think Nuggets in seven, and Mike Malone beats uh, Greg Popovich. And and last but certainly not least, my Oklahoma City Thunder, the six C versus Portland Trailblazers. I'll start this off since I am a Thunder aficionado. Thunder and four. Ooh! Thunder and four. Por- Portland and seven. <laughs> Jesus. Thunder and four. No Nurkic who was biting the Thunder all year. Their best big man is out. The Thunder swept the season series 4-0, so we have their number. Probably be the team eight times straight, though. Facts. But I think this Thunder team is ready. I think they're going to make a statement this series. Mm. And just like what happened to the Blazers last year, 3C faced the Pelicans and got swept. <laughs> so I think Thunder will come out and make a series and tell them uh, we're here, we're ready to face either Houston or Golden State. But of course they have to get past the second round, the semifinals. But I think this this will be a statement series. Why do you think Portland in seven? I think Portland in seven because Dame actually has something to prove, and he's going to prove it this year. This is the year Dame is going to say okay, see, because for one, like I've been saying, Russell Westbrook. <sighs> Can't shoot the rock. He, that little triple double stuff. I mean, okay, but it's not going to help you win in this playoffs. And PG's banged up. That shoulder is going to bother him in this series. So I just don't see OKC doing it this year. They're a little banged up. And Russell cannot shoot, having worse shooting percentages. Like, disrespectful. I mean, it's true. I mean, it's facts. The dude's not, I mean, he's great at what he does, but. He can't help you win the game, you know. And Dame, he's gonna go off and have his games with CJ. And I feel like Enos Cantor gonna have some good games too. Enos Cantor. Yep. I forgot who Russell Westbrook played with. <laughs> who does Russell Westbrook play with? Cut. I forgot who Russell Westbrook played with. Who did he play with? Cut. <laughs> Paul George. Mm. Third place in MVP probably or fourth place. Mm-hmm. Uh, did he stop playing basketball? Is he hurt? He has a shoulder injury that made him sit out a, a game. Sound like an excuse for rest for me to me. My God, PG thirteen, baby. What you think? Ooh, just hit a game winner over the Rockets, right? Yep. Oh man, my shoulder would hurt too after hitting that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Man, y'all tripping, bro? He choked uh, in the playoffs last year. Playoff P, and he choked. You never heard of Do Not Disturb? <laughs> nope. <laughs> Playoff P with the Pacers, man. <laughs> Thunder and five. I'll give Dame a win. Dame gonna get a win. Dame gonna get a win because he can't get out go outside two years straight. But like Russell was saying, bro, I've been I've been busting you mm-hmm, yeah. for a long time. 
We gonna see. Nah, I rock with Dame though, but yeah, bro. We gonna His see. His team not there. His, it's not. It's not Dame. It's the team. And CJ McCollum. That's why they was about to trade that man. He CJ CJ McCollum supposed to be in New Orleans because they were trying to get AD. Oh no, they were trying to get Boogie. They were trying to get Boogie or something like that. So, like I said, bro. What you think, Demond? Thunder or Blazers? I've got OKC in six. Um, I don't think Russell Westbrook is the best point guard in basketball, <laughs> but can we please stop the disrespect, Brandon? I agree with you that the triple doubles on all that, but come on now. Come on. We know what the Blazers do in the playoffs. The hater, Dame is going to drop 40. DJ McCollum's going to drop 30. But they don't have Nurkic. Their next best option is Enos Kanter. Straight. He, has he can get you 20 and 20. In the playoffs, year after year after year, he's not the answer, especially not against Stephen Adams. We know who the big brother was in that relationship. Thanks. So Stephen Adams is going to humble him down low. Um, Paul George is going to do his thing. Westbrook is going to go at it with Dame. I just believe it's too much. I do think the Blazers will go up 2 0, but after that, OKC will run with it and the series will end in uh, Portland. Four straight wins for OKC. Just got to watch and see. <laughs> Next round, we'll start with um, Thunder versus uh, Nuggets. For uh, B, it's Portland versus Nuggets. And for Cut, it's Spurs versus Thunder. You would go first, Cut. Spurs versus Thunder, who you have? Th- bro, I don't, I don't play the Spurs, then they play the Nuggets. Thunder and Six. They don't matter. And why do you think that? The Thunder the better team. It's not even close, in my opinion. I mean, it's the teams are good. Like the Nuggets have the better bench per se, but superstars win playoff games. Mm-hmm. B, you uh Portland versus Unless it's Boston. Then superstars won't win playoff games. <laughs> you have Portland versus Denver. Who do you have? Denver. I mean, yeah, Denver going like like I said, Denver is deep and they're more deep than the Blazers and everybody's gonna come together. I just don't see nobody stopping Jokic. With the shooters around him, he has the pieces and the bench. I mean, I just don't see nobody beating Denver right now <laughs> until they meet Golden State. I mean, you know, <laughs> so, yeah. For me, I say I have the Thunder versus Nuggets. Thunder and seven, it will be a hard-fought series. The Nuggets give the Thunder fits every time they play them. However, again, I'm a believer that more stars will win and – Oklahoma City Thunder has more stars than Denver Nuggets. And I think Thunder will be well rested as they prepare for this series as the Nuggets will be a little fatigued after the tough Spurs series. I think it's still go to seven due to – because the Thunder have a way to, like, miss shots, like, miss open shots come playoff times. I think they'll get over these fits and be on their way to a Western Conference Finals first time since 2016. DeMond, what do you think? I have the Thunder in six, but I wouldn't be mad. I wouldn't be surprised, rather, if it went in five. I just think we've talked about Westbrook, this being his first playoff as, hey, this is the opportunity we have. We don't have to play Golden State in the first two rounds. Mm -hmm. Let's get there and see what happens. It just excites me to know that there's no star that they are facing that is on the caliber of Westbrook's level. So he knows that it's, I mean, I mean, Dane, yes, but the team overall, they have every advantage over every team that they could play. So I just think OKC will ride that into the Eastern Conference Finals. Um, I've got them in six. Western Conference, but got you six. And the best yes. series of the semifinals in the Western Conference, Golden State versus the Houston Rockets. Let's go to our bandwagon Golden State Warriors fan, Lil B. <laughs> Lil B, who do you think will win the series? That's crazy, Jay. It's crazy. <laughs> it's not a bandwagon. I'm not a bandwagon, you know. Um, Golden State, you know. And what? I'll say six. Uh, six. Game, game six. I mean, Houston always give Golden State a little run for their money, but in the end, like, I just don't see nobody matching up with Golden State. Nobody can guard KD on Houston. Nobody. And Curry is going to have his game. Because Curry is going to win finals MVP this year regardless. It, it, this is his playoff year. So, <laughs> And then you got Clay. Like, they, they just got too many weapons. Like, these dudes just so talented. So, 
I don't see so nobody. I don't so see stacked. nobody on Houston <laughs> just Bandwagon. beating them. So nah. <laughs> What you think, Demar? Houston or Golden State? I've got Houston in seven. That's cr- crazy. There Facts. is a chance they could get him in six. Tell me no, why. Tell me why. I don't Tell know about why. the six, but the seven I got. Chris Paul will be the most valuable player in this series. Yeah, if they right. can get them like they got them last year in mm-hmm. Golden State, we will. there will be an upset. I just think we talked about it time after time. They're the only team with the mindset, why can't we beat them? Westbrook has that mindset. Paul George, maybe, but the whole team of Houston has that mindset. They're not scared to go at them. They're not scared to shoot it. I don't think they can miss 27 threes again. So I just believe Houston will get it done. Um, Maybe in six. I hope in six, though. That that squares any way, any talks of KD staying. There's nothing, no chance for him winning a championship. Houston and seven. That's what I want. Since you're drinking your 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 water, I take um, Houston and seven, man. They should have beat him last year. Almost bought a Chris Paul jersey, but he got hurt. And <laughs> after he got hurt, everybody knew what time it was. Go to still was gonna win that series. So I agree with you. Chris Paul has to show up again. He cannot get hurt. He's like, this is this is a uh, huge. It's just Houston. I have Houston and seven. James Harden, Chris Paul, Daryl Moore assembled his team for one reason. It's to beat the Golden State Warriors, man. I think this is their chance to do it. Uh, and I think they'll get it done. And the Warrior Dynasty will be over. What do you think, Cut? Crazy. I have the war. Thank you. No, 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 Goofy, man. <laughs> Goofy, man. What you thought, bro? Rockets in seven. It's not even nothing to talk about. Y'all said everything I need to say. Rockets in seven. That way. And the Western Conference Finals. We'll Rockets with- versus Thunder. I love it. We'll start with a little beat on his Warriors versus Nuggets prediction. Uh, Warriors versus the Nuggets. And he I said the Nuggets going to beat the Thunder? Yeah. He's oh, be hating. God. No, he said Thunder's going to lose in the first round to the Portland. I know. <laughs> y'all going to see. Like, y'all just going to see this. Like, And when, I, when y'all see it, y'all... Please give me my props. So I'll be wait. I'll be waiting on it. You lost your marbles, buddy. And then... But, yeah. Warriors versus Nuggets. And Warriors... Gonna get them in like five, you know, because they, they've been beating the Nuggets all season yeah, long. When they play the Nuggets, so, they them. Yeah, like I said, I don't see nobody just. Nobody can guard KD. I'm sorry. Nobody. That's your reason for everything? Reason for everything. Nobody can. He's gonna get his buckets. Curry gonna get his buckets. Clay gonna get his buckets. And Boogie's gonna show out in the playoffs. He has something nah. to prove. So, yes. What you think, DeMond? Hey, Bruiser. Bruiser. Brandon's. Same old strategy. When in doubt, same old. <laughs> Crossover, KD. <laughs> what you had, a Rockets uh, versus Thunder? Yeah, I have Rockets versus Thunder. I have Rockets in six. Tell me um, I just don't think Houston's letting games get to game seven this year. I really don't. Um, like I said, I have them over the Jazz in five. I have them over the Warriors and hope, hopefully six. And I don't think they'll let OKC beat them to the brink. I just think... They have too much on the line. Both teams knowing I have Boston out east and I have Houston in west in the west. They know they were supposed to be there last year. So I think we'll actually get that this year. Um and Harden, M V P man, you know who I'm riding with. For me, I have Thunder versus Rockets in the Western Conference Finals. My bias is gonna say Thunder and Seven, but if I'm really being honest with myself, the Rockets in seven. Um, mm. I, I love the Thunder. Mm. I believe blue. That's tough. As long as Russell Westbrook plays for Oklahoma City Thunder. <laughs> but I think it's, just, it's Harden's time. It's just Harden, Chris Paul, the Rockets organization needs this finals appearance. And I think they'll get it done. Right, and Rockets in seven for me. What you think, Cut? Rockets in seven with the Thunder because that's going to be a great matchup. Honestly, I really don't care who wins. But yeah, I, 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 I would like the Rockets. I mean, I don't care who wins. But I just would like them to go to the finals and actually beat the Sixers. That's what I'm predicting. <laughs> but I mean, I don't. If, as long as it, bro, if the Warriors don't win a championship this year, <laughs> I am happy. <laughs> I am, I am happy. Like that's all I need to see. I need people to know, like they, it's over. It's over. What I don't need. Mean? I don't need Curry with how many rings he would have. 
Four. four. Then he gonna think he better than Bron. No, knock it off. <laughs> and then Katie gonna have three. No he gonna think he on the same level as Bron. Knock it off. Go get your own ring. Yeah, when- you above him. <laughs> <laughs> And to the NBA Finals. Yeah, that's just a little <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to even get mad. I got to go. Like, I got places to be. It's a Friday night. Like, we'll start with B. You have the Warriors versus the Sixers. Who do you have? Dubs. Bandwagon, my bad. Dubs. And, but I can say that I go to six. Like, the Dubs just have no competition. This is what I'm just oh saying. They have no comp. The way they play basketball is <laughs> it's the, it's the, just, it's yes, just so amazing. The way they like, play ball bro. is the system is just beautiful. They know who. Bro, they don't even have to touch the uh, What I'm saying is everybody everybody going to have their game. Bro, bro. The, they know the system. You know, if Warriors Curry on the so court, fun, if, if Curry on the court, you know, everybody rolling. You I've know, never seen basketball everybody played this way. It's so smooth. <laughs> yes, it's beautiful the way they play. Man. I mean, the art is just so ridiculous. I mean, that is oh, my God. I mean, All yes. Right. What you think, Cut? You have the um, Rockets and Sixers? Rockets and Sixers. Ah, oh, man. He's going seven. Okay. Because Harden and B go at it. And it's really going to come. Man, who, who would have home court in that situation? Ooh, good question. I believe... Philly will what? Philly will. They're the fourth seed. No, it's based on the record. Record. Yeah, it's based oh. on record. Rockets what? Rockets won fifty three games. Philly won fifty one. They gotta go to Houston. It's a dub. <laughs> Game seven in Houston. Trap gonna be there courtside. You could call it one. Now they gotta go to Philly though. Yeah. Yeah, Philly get get crazy too. Yeah, <laughs> I think that home court advantage coming to play when it's anybody but the like the Warriors home court advantage is there. But I'm saying like. When it comes to the other teams playing yeah. in that moment, you gotta your fans gotta be with you. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I, I if I had to choose, um, I guess I say uh, I go with Houston. I want Chris Paul to get a ring. <laughs> I want Rockets to get a ring. I want Harden to get a ring, and I want. I mean, because I feel like the Sixers can always come back again another time, <laughs> unless KD go to the East and they might mess him up. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, I have the um, Rockets in seven, I guess. Demond, you have Rockets versus Boston. I have Rockets versus Boston, but first, I do want to say I would love to see a matchup in the finals of Westbrook versus Embiid. I'm just saying. <laughs> Thanks. But Rockets versus Boston, I've got Houston in seven. Really? Um, I do. Yes. While I do love Kyrie, you know Kyrie and Harden tied for first, my favorite player chart right now. Um. <laughs> <laughs> but I do have Rockets in seven. Uh, I just believe it's time for Chris Paul. Uh, best friend retiring, other best friend not in the league, other best friend not in the playoffs. Mm-hmm. Show, that, show that this is your time to be on top as far as the best friends go. Uh, Harden, storybook, MVP season. Um, and I do want to just say, I feel like the MVP should be announced before the playoffs start. It's just my opinion, mm-hmm. just so they could officially have that title. But I believe once Harden gets that ring, they'll see without a doubt. Well, they already have voted, but still, I believe the rightful MVP will be crowned in the championship. I couldn't agree more with a uh, cut in demand. I have Rockets in six or seven, depending on if they're having an off shooting night or shooting night or not. Uh, just it's. Superstar, who's the best player on the court? It's James Harden, MVP of the league. Being honest, he should be a he should already have three MVPs right now, but <sighs> Rockets in six or seven, depending on him, how they shoot. One in the one of the earlier games, so it seems like everybody here have the Western Conference winning the championship again. Any uh yep. any new? Any um anything wanna leave the audience with the mom before we bid you adieu? I do want to just say, while we are on the topic of speaking on MVPs, um, I believe it's going to be a little bit different on the all-first NBA team, seeing LeBron and KD not be on there for a change. And it's possible the Thunder may have two guys make it. I just want to say that. I've been giving a lot of thought to it. No LeBron on the all-NBA first team. No KD because I believe Giannis and Paul George will make it. Mm -hmm. And then after that, I have Westbrook and Curry and Embiid. So just want to get your guys' thoughts on that. How do you feel? Does this officially signal the changing of the guards in the NBA? 
or will LeBron be on top next year? We'll leave it to our LeBron expert over here. Cut. What do you think? LeBron gonna be straight. He just need help. <laughs> like it don't. He gonna be straight. He just need help, and he about to start shooting more threes because his body starting to you know catch up with him. That's all. LeBron gonna work on his shot and have a jumper next season, and he can always be able to pass. So you give him Anthony Davis or Jimmy Butler or anybody that's younger than him that got superstar potential. He gonna build him up and make him look like 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 a king. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he gonna pass. He gonna he gonna put him on a throne. You know he gonna put him on the iron throne. Game of Thrones. Okay. You did. That's just what's going on. I, I, I caught that. I caught yeah, that. Yeah, that yeah. That's just what's going on. Game of Zones reference. You did. Hey, I like Game of Zones. <laughs> but you like you don't like Game of Thrones, but you like Game of Zones. Oh, we'll talk about this tomorrow. <laughs> uh, All right. Damon, <laughs> thanks. Thanks for calling in. The Distribute Podcast airs every Monday on YouTube and SoundCloud. Episode yeah. two releasing this Monday, correct? Correct. Say less. Pack brand, pack brand, pack brand, pack brand. That's the gang. You gang, did. Gang. gang. <laughs> Cut through. <laughs>